What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod Boneworks. This includes how to install custom avatars and custom maps. This tutorial works and does not give you the red command prompt thing as of August 29th, 2025. All of the links will be provided in the description of this video. This is going to be a lot different from my normal videos, it's not going to be as heavily edited. Alright, that's enough yap, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is search up Melon Loader and go to the first thing that comes up and they'll have a get started button where you can download it. You want to run Melon Loader once you've installed it and it's going to bring up this menu here. And so you're going to want to type in Bonework and it's most likely that it won't show up. Um, like for me, it's not showing up. Uh, so what you want to do is click add game manually and then put in the path for Bone. You can find this path by going to Boneworks, clicking the gear on Steam manage and browse local files so once you're browsing the local files you're just going to want to click on this um and then you're going to copy it and then in melon loader you can put in the path here hit open click on the boneworks folder and hit open and then find the boneworks exe and click open and that should make boneworks show up so now you can type in boneworks and you'll see it this is a very important thing that you don't want to skip over make sure you put it to version 0.5.7 and click install. Now your game is patched and ready to be modded. You're gonna wanna get your mods from Thunderstore, but I recommend you get four different mods. That is mod that is not a mod, custom maps, and player models. These are pretty much essential for modding and pretty much everything uses it. So I'm gonna even show, you, show you guys how to install one of these mods. So for example, we're gonna use mod that is not a mod. We're gonna click manual download. All right, so you're gonna wanna extract the file. So some mods will only have a mods thing, but some will have a plugins. All you have to do is copy both of these or drag and drop them. And you go into Boneworks and then in any dead space, like right here, you just paste. And it'll automatically put the mods into mods and plugins into plugins. Now, if you're dealing with custom maps or player models, it's a bit different. So if you want custom player models or custom maps, you're gonna have to download these. And basically every single mod uses this. If you wanna install custom maps, uh, items, player models, whatever, inside of your user data, you need to make three folders and spell them exactly how I do. So I made a bit of a mistake in the video. There is more than three folders, as you can see in this screenshot. I recommend that you boot into Bone Lab after patching with Melon Loader, as it will automatically make these folders for you if you do that. However, if you already made these folders, don't worry, it'll still work. So I'm gonna show this off. I'm gonna download 7-Eleven by Baba Cooper. Once it's extracted, I'm gonna click on the user data, custom maps, and you should see a .bsm file for custom maps. And you're just gonna copy and paste it into the user data and custom maps. And it's pretty much the same for player model. For example, I'll use the short sleeve Ford gloves mod. So as you can see, we have it and we're gonna open it and there should be a dot body file inside and you're just gonna copy and paste it, go to user data and put it in the player models folder. That's pretty much all. Once you're inside of Boneworks, you're gonna wanna hold down on your menu button and you should see a bone menu if you did everything correctly. And it'll have all of your mods here. You'll click here for player models as you can see. There may be a lag spike, but it will work, and you get your short sleeve. And if you go back here, go to custom maps, and you can see we installed 7-Eleven, you just click on it. And then to get it to go away, you just hold down on your menu, and you select bone menu again. Additionally, it should be noted that once Boneworks Remastered, or Patch 7, however you like to call it, comes out, this tutorial may become outdated. I did not mention this in the video, but if your maps are corrupted and have like a box around them, try and install this mod. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. 